some time ago, let's say a long time ago, this was a peaceful place to live. These high rolling plateaus, far above the glacial lakes, far above the desert, of just, just south of Las Vegas. Well, the gently rolling hills and a, a lovely place to live. Although there wasn't much water up here, I suppose. But people hunted up here and they left patches of debris behind, as you do. And where they hunted is extremely clear. There's some interesting places up in these hills. Uh, when you see a pale thing like that, animals, it can be, were predictably there. And wherever animals were predictably there also is lithic debris predictably. This brown stain here and here. Those are from people who are, I believe, hunting at that spot. And I was led up into these hills by trying to understand the sort of traps that had been set for animals down down lower and lower in the valley. And you come to understand these things and they're really something. And here's a very interesting place right here. Something you only I haven't seen before. A long drive line, fence post poles of some sort, ending here and um, a, a circle of lithic debris. And right in the middle of it, right close up is a some sort of a stone wall system half of half of a figure eight and um, or a W you look around a little bit more you see uh, a hint of wall coming in from this direction although I think there's some geology involved there and you see uh, a gully leading up to here and the sense you get is, is that if they could get an animal <clears throat> into, excuse me, into the bottom of this gully and chase it a little bit, they'd be pretty much forced to go up here. And you know, I guess if it came in this direction, there it would be in the kill zone. Somehow these are hunter's blinds, I suppose, but they're too big to be hunter's blinds. I don't, I don't know. I suppose the animal could have tried to go off in this direction, in which case they might have escaped. Or encountered something involving this part of the wall. Now that's one of a couple of little kill zones that are, that are worth looking at. Something, some very interesting things over here. But if you go up this valley, fly up it, you pass that thing, and come up in here and this is a kill zone I can show you we can look at that one later um, if you come up these ridges from this valley up into here you find some unusual soil disturbances and we'll look at those again in a minute if you go up this valley and go in this direction I'm going to do this in 3d you come to another large patch of lithic debris right here and for reasons which I can't explain I happened to zoom in rather closely and noticed that there were lines of rocks on the slope there very loose stone walls um, a little bit similar to that w-shaped structure the half of a figure eight that we saw down earlier in the other place so the animals coming into this valley from the desert had a number of choices every one of which was deadly in one way or another for them and the hunters knew about that and wherever the animals were predictable the hunters would be predictable let's take a quick look at this soil disturbance from above i looked at this i thought well maybe that's a dwelling place but this is about 40 feet across and uh it sort of looks like a fish a fish trap or a funnel funneling system I don't know I suppose I'm kidding myself 
uh, there's a sense that there's another thing there. And if you look in the vicinity, you find other bare places where the gravel's been scraped aside in a few spots. This is an interesting one. You get a bump, like a little part of a star, and then uh, it's bar shape. And there's also, I think, one right here. Yeah. More bare places. But that's it. So other bear, other bald places, if you like, on the tops of these hills do not have those little structures in them. So there you have it. Uh, drive lines over here. Soil disturbances up here. Oh, sorry. The drive lines was over here. And the soil disturbances were up here. And then you have... Um, all of these valleys coming out of the glacial lake area have noticeable deposits of lithic debris in front of them, like there and there. And the places that the animals were walking in here sort of are all surrounded by hints of lithic debris in the complicated area. But the types of hunting sites that you see over in here and down here, I think might be a little bit unique to this topography. And I haven't seen any other topography like this. So it's rather special.